Hey, 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 YouTubers, welcome back to Galactic Gaming. This is Hatfield15 reporting for duty, and today we're back with some more Metroid Prime. So, yeah, as you guys can tell, um, I um, got Super Mario 3D World for my birthday um, yesterday, so I meant to post a video last night, but it'll be uploaded shortly after this is uploaded. So, yeah, earlier um, in the Fendrana Drifts, I figured out we gotta go back here because there's an important item we need, um, the space jump, so... Yeah, anyways, all along the way in Fendrana Drifts, I obtained the, um... Oh, hold on, let me see. Can I get to it? Um, let's see. Um, um, the boost ball. I got the boost ball. So basically, when we hold down the B, it'll give us a little speed boost when we let go. So it's going to be handy for where we need to go to get the space jump. So, yeah, without further said, we're all systems. Go for this video in three, two, one. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's go on with this. So... Yeah, um, I didn't film so I didn't film me obtaining the boost ball earlier because I was having some complications and uh, I was getting a little upset. So, yeah, sorry if um, not all footage is included. So, um, hold on, I saw a video where you got a. Uh, yeah, basically, it's boost ball lets you do this kind of stuff and crap. We overshot our target. Uh, uh, boy, we did it! All right, um. It's so obviously some phase on right here, so can we scan it? No. Um, there's a little zoomer right there. Um, Alright, and then as you can see, we have a little space right here, so can we scan this? Yes, we can. Stress fractures can be detected throughout the surface of, of this sandstone wall, so thankfully we have morph ball bombs, so let's bomb these open. So this will take us to a little spot in, on a cliff above the um, landing site, which will hopefully bring us to the space jump. So. If you guys remember from Super Metroid, Space Jump basically lets you continuously somersault through the air. So, from what I've seen, the Space Jump's actually a little different in this game. You, it only lets you really do double jumps rather than continuous somersaults in the air. So, it's a little unfortunate, but yeah. Alright, let's see. Cannot identify light source. No profile matches in standard flora and fauna data bank. Alright, so, yeah, Phase On is currently unknown to us. So, yeah. Wait, is this something? No, I thought it was something. Alright, so, here we are, um, there's our little ship down there, so, yeah, yep, um, whoa, what's this, what's this red thing right here? Species, red starburst, edible flower bloom, a seasonally, um, um, considered de a delicacy in many territories, okay, so, it's harmless, right? Okay, yeah, it is harmless, so I'm pretty sure, okay, yeah, as you guys see right down there, we have our space jump boots, so, yeah, let's go ahead and grab these, and um, let's give it a try out. Then we'll venture back to the Fendrana Drift, so we can continue moving on and hopefully get closer to getting the Wave Beam. If you guys remember the Wave Beam, it lets projectiles pass through walls. Anyway, Space Jump Boots acquired. Press B to perform a jump while still in the air. Press B again to perform an extra Space Jump, so... Alright, um... There we go. Yeah, obviously those work perfectly, so... Um, I'm just gonna hop back. So, this makes our job a bit easier now that we have double jumps up in here, so, yeah. Job's been made a whole lot easier, so, yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, you may, guys may have seen my, um, Super Mario 3D World video, and you may have seen it was a repeat of my Interstellar vlog I did last night, showing off my guests. So, I'm so sorry about that, you guys. Um, I deleted the video earlier today, but, like I said, it won't um, I, um, will be downloading the Mario Maker video, I mean, the Mario 3D World video, um, along with the Metroid Prime video tonight, so, yeah, just sit tight, and, uh, soon you guys will get your first peek of, um, Super Mario 3D World, so, yeah, for now, we're stuck here with Metroid Prime, and we're going up, so, we got a bit of a journey ahead of us, so, I'm probably gonna edit a bit of this out, so just sit tight, and I'll be back. Okay, so I hope all this footage is edited out by now, so if not, um, just hang tight while all that footage is editing out, all seven minutes of it, approximately, so, yeah, now we are here back at the Fendrana Drifts, where I feel like I know what I must do this time, so, yeah, let's just hop right to it, and, um, yeah, let's just get on with it, so, yeah, obviously I'm really taking a liking into the boost ball, because it basically lets you, uh, um, go really speedy, not really as speedy as Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, we need the speed booster back from Super Metroid to go faster than Sonic the Hedgehog. 
I'm actually not sure how fast the um, speed booster lets us go, but if it's anywhere over the speed of sound, we're, then we're obviously faster than Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, there, what do you know? The space jump has worked. So, boy, we did it. All right, um, let's see. Um, it's worn and weathered, so, whoosh. Yep, boy. Um, hang on, is there anything here? No? Alright, I, I feel like we're in the right place, but I yet have no idea as to what we're doing next. Oh, there's more Bamus. We killed one once, didn't we? Um, I'm not exactly sure how we did it, but okay. Oh, wait, um, I think you're supposed to do little shots of it. Um, no, they're all reflecting off Pulse Bamu here. Nope! Ow. Uh, um... Alright, um, missiles low, gosh darn. Yeah, it's, um, these things are scatter bombers, so basically, yeah, as you guys may have saw, they, um, they have little line things going around and they interfere with your sights. Alright, so, this thing right here, it's a baby sea goth. I encountered one of these earlier in one of the two failed attempts of this video earlier, so, yeah, basically we gotta hit them in the back, um, where the ice is, so, hold up, I just saw something new. Oh, nope, um, that's a crystal light right there, um... I thought I saw... Yeah, there we go. What's that thing? Alright, Morphology. Ice Parasite. Scavenger with a crystalline outer shell. Parasite is hardy... Is a, parasites are hardy creatures. It's able to adapt to any environment within three generations. The Ice Parasite is a prime example. Having adjusted to a frigid climate, this vermin now thrives in it. Omnivore, omnivores. Omnivorous. It can exist in the most hostile um, forms. Alright, so... Uh, um, Alright... Uh-oh. Alright, um, when we're out of missiles, Charge Beam does the thing, so... Yeah, just keep that in mind if you want to play Metroid Prime 2. Oh, yeah, we messed up the jump. Uh... Faboosh. There we go, we got him. Alright, I don't think the boss should be too far from here. Um, I'm not exactly sure, so... Let's see. Oh, this is scannable, and it's a... A statue depicting a Chozo balancing... The plane of existence in his hands, so alright, that's something right there. Alright, okay, crystal lights, um, they won't be affected. Hmm. I just saw another ice parasite, but no. Nah. Just oh, okay, there's a crystal light right there. Ow! Yep, pup. Yep, pup. Yep, pup. Okay, there's another here's another parasite, so uh boosh. There we go, we got him. Um, that does sound kind of reminded me of the um, those little parasites from the sneak peek. Alright, hold on, we can't get a good lock on him. There we go, we got him. Alright, can, can we hit this dude too? Let's wait for him to come around. There we go, we got him. And we got more energy, so we're going to need energy because energy is just as big an issue as um, missiles here, so... Um, uh, let's see, any scannable stuff? No? Um, let's see, any exits? Oh, there's a hatch right over there, but I have the feeling that's where our next boss is at, so... Hmm. I have a bad feeling about this, so... I'm honestly not so sure if I, um, want to continue with what little missiles we have, so let's spend a little bit trying to recollect all these missiles, and... There's a five thing right there, so that obviously just helped us a bunch. Uh, there we go, one more fiver should do the trick, and bingo, there we go, I'm pretty sure we have full missiles, um, I don't really care if we have full health, but we have pretty close to full health, so, what is this thing? The statue's hands seem to be frozen in place, um, I've got a bad feeling about this. Alright, okay, never mind. I thought the boss was right here. Alright, what's this? A statue depicting a bust, the bust of a Chozo slime and adorns this door. Um, a symbol is carved into its forehead. The translation reads, To pass my gaze, seek my twin within this room. Alright, so I gotta find your brother, apparently. So, um, let's see. Oh, is this you? Is this your brother? This statue is depicting the bust of a Chozo warrior. Statue is flawless. Um... Um, this statue is depicting a bust of a Chozo Shaman, um, Brimstone. 
All right, I guess we gotta scan these dudes here. Um, architect, uh, statue is flawless. Um, and the statue is depicting a philosopher. Um, did that do anything? All right, um, it seems to be frozen in... Oh, oh, it was a view from... Oh, the dude's in this very room, so... Um, so from the dude's view... Um, to pass my gaze, seek my twin within this room. Alright, so it could be anywhere within this vicinity here, so... We have to find someone or something that looks like him, so... Scan visor ready, and let's, um, explore... Oh! What's this thing? There appears to be a shell of an ice encasing... A there appears to be a, a shell of an ice encasing a water bath, and the water originated from the statue's mouth. Alright. Um, let's see, um, are you his twin? No. Um, uh, can we, alright, will you do anything? Okay, never mind, we have to find his brother, so, um, let's see, where are you? Okay, you're not up here. Mm. Oh, I think that's you. Um, no, that's just a dude of existence, so he's not helpful at the moment. Um, up, up. Hmm, we have to find them. Alright, nope, me, I forgot we were on scan visor rather than attack visor. But, eh, I don't really care. Um, he's somewhere within this room, so... Scan visor out, and let's look carefully for him. Um, Gussie, is there any weaknesses here? No? Okay. Alright, um, balance plane of existence, blah blah blah, um, bip bip, yep bop. Hmm. Hmm, thought I saw something scannable for a moment. Uh, nope, uh, we've already gotten that one. Alright, um, um, yeah, this has gotten a little confusing. Real, This went from seemingly easy to really confusing just like that. Um, bup, fush. Up. Um. Up, up, up. Hmm, let's see, um. I just want to scan anything possible, so. Are you sure he's within this room here? Um, or nowhere else? Hmm. Up, up. Okay. Hmm. Anything around here? Hmm. Maybe you're around here. Alright, chose a warrior, philosopher, um, shadman, um, architect. So. Alright, um, let's see, um, oh, it, wait, what was him? Uh, Shaman. Alright, so, it's obviously a Shaman. Uh, now do we attack him or whatever? Oh, there we go, there we go, we had to destroy the Shaman and then he'd open up. Okay. Oh. Okay, I misunderstood that, so I thought we was gonna have to edit this out, but nope, never mind. We found the shaman's twin, and we are on a roll. No pun intended, because we're in more fall form. Like, seriously, no pun intended. Oh, it's uh, another one of these rooms. Alright, nope, we can't go through. Yep. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, that just clears stuff up for us right above us. So, whoopoosh. Yep. 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 Okay, no, we can't blow him up from above. Yep. Yep, boosh. Yep, boosh. Yep, abooski. Alright, there we go. That was a neat little puzzle. So, yep. 
Whoosh. Uh oh, this is a large room, and I think I see the wave beam right up ahead, so. Alright, we can scan it. Wave beam. Alright. I just felt something rumble. Alright, so we're gonna need the wave beam for this. So, here it is, guys. The wickedly wavy, wavy, the wickedly wild wavy wave beam. Sorry, alliteration. Oh, come on! It went down on us. Now, that is some mean crap. Ah, crap. It's sea goth. More sea goths. Alright, if we run out of missiles, at least we have the charge beam. Ah, oh, boy. Get off. Um, I remember this music from, um, what's his face? The, um, giant burrower beetle. Um, up. Oh. Alright, we can also, I just realized something, we can use the, um, we can use the space jump here to our advantage, so we, um, 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 all right, there we go. We got him, and he's brought along another friend. God, why are creatures so territorial in this game? There we go. Um, um, come on, let me get out, ya. Um, come on. There we go, we got this dude, so I think he's um invulnerable while we have him right here. Okay. Um come on, you couldn't have spit out any missiles? God Come on, let me have a good aim for once. Oh there we go. There we go, um, one more hit, auto, and bingo! Oh, come on, where are your missiles when you- where are missiles when I need them? Ah, uh, crap, it's a big one. Alright, so I'm gonna guess that's a giant sea goth, so... Come on, scan, scan, scan! Alright, morphology, sea goth, supreme predator of the Fenjara address. Sea goths are invulnerable to most beam weapons. The crystals on the back absorb energy, which they can fire at them. Sea goths have poor stamina. They hyperventilate and use um, their breath attack, making their mouth area vulnerable. The soft underbelly of the sea goth is susceptible to concussive blasts. In battle, they expel a frigid gas to ensnare enemies. Okay, so we can um, we can hit it out its mouth then. Ow! We gotta avoid those. Um, what did, I, what did I just tell myself about avoiding? Um, uh, wait, I gotta scan this thing again. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Um, the crystals absorb. Sea goths of poor sound. They hyperventilate and use their breath attack, making their mouth area vulnerable. The soft underbelly is is um, susceptible to concussive blasts. Um, it's underbelly, so we gotta. I think we have to morph ball here. Oh, there we go. Um, we, it just did something to him. Um, um. Come on, where's the health counter when you need one? Um. Um. Come on, there's gotta be a more efficient way to hurt them. Okay, hold on. I think I see the idea here. Um, you gotta wait till they charge at ya. Um. Come on. All right, there we go. We gotta hide out his butt. Oh, um, um, come on, come on. There has to be a more efficient way. There's gotta be. Um, uh, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna pause for a second and I'm gonna edit this out. Okay, so according to YouTube, uh, my friend, um, my our good old friend YouTube, I think I'm doing everything right for the moment. Oh no. 
Um, come on. Give me stuff. Give me stuff. Give me stuff. Give me stuff. Um, oh, come on. You couldn't have sped out health? Oh, come on. Alright, um, good. Good, good, good. Oh, wait, no, wait, I don't want to shoot this. Go! Oh, no. Uh, we're low on health, so... Come on, just... Sh we shouldn't have too much m more to do, so... I hope... I hope we don't have much to do. Um... Come on. This thing die? Um, alright, we gotta wait till our bombs recharge. Alright, I have a little battle plan here, so... Um, no, 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 Come on, when will this thing die? Come on, please spit out good health. Please spit out health. Yes, it is spitting out health, but not much. Um. Ah! Get away from me. There we go. We got him. Ah, I, I, wasn't, I was afraid I wasn't going to live for a moment, but we did that. And our reward here is the Wickedly Wild Wavy Wave Beam. Seagoth defeated, and we have a new beam, so I'm not sure what the full data on this is, so let's check Samus' notes before we continue. Wave beam acquired. Um, press plus to then point to the switch with the wave beam. Use this beam to open purple doors. Additional data. Alright, so we can um, use this to open purple doors, so um, let's check Samus' data. Um, additional notes about it, so... Power beam, wave beam. All right. Um, Samus's notes: the, When fire the wave beam to open purple doors, the wave beam won't home in on targets. So without a lock on, so press Z to lock on. Charge the wave beam to fire a fierce electric blast. They will be stunned for a few minutes. Um, okay. So this thing, do it doesn't, um, it doesn't like um, go through walls. So wow, this is pretty good. Wow, I'm already taking a bit of a liking to this wave beam here. So I think I have a good idea of what we're gonna, where we're gonna go next. So we don't. Um, I'm gonna edit a bunch of this out. So yeah, yeah, I can play for a few more minutes. Abush. Uh, oh. Abush. Uh, All right. Oh. Oh. So the wave beam is what will destroy Bamus. Okay. So. Don't let them get too close, but um, Bamboos can be destroyed by wave beams. Alright, so I'll keep that in mind. Die. Alright. Uh, Floosh. Alright, there's a little area that wasn't really shown in my... That was shown in my failed attempts at this um, go round. so... Yeah, we'll just be proceeding over there, seeing what's through that door, and then we'll be quitting for today. Oh, I just remembered, um... Alright, we could just do repeated blasts of this to kill them. Alright, so... Um... I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure it was through these doors that are up ahead. Alright, so... Oh, another Seagoth, come on. I'm not sure, I can't tell, um, well the wave, okay, I don't really care at the moment, so. This wave beam might be my new favorite thing, so. Alright, the little area is not too far from here, and, um, with any luck, um, we can open the wave beam door before we run out of time, so. Aboosh. Uh, up oh, there we go. Um, now we just gotta roll through quickly. So, we. Um, 
This might have been the wrong door, but hey, we got um, maybe eight minutes extra, so yeah. Alright, um, Fubush. Fubush. Alright, so, Fub. Fub. Alright. Alright, so, um, I don't really care about these things right here, so, bring it on. You, I will not be stopped by you creatures. Alright, so, um, I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's probably through this next hatch over here, so, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm, I'm right, so I'm, it's right through this, one of these next couple doors here. Alright, let's go nuts with our wave beam, because I'm pretty sure, I mean, even though it's pretty different from the wave beam I'm used to, um, this is, um, definitely some good stuff, so... Um. Alright. Um, come on. I gotta figure out how to get out of here. Come on. These sea goths can be a real pain in the rear end. Come on. Nope. Not today. I shall not be stopped by you foul creatures. Alright, um, alright, so that's the one we've been damaging. Alright, now let's give him a test of our wave beam. Alright, um, Fubush. Alright, so now we just gotta figure out how to get up to the, um, wave beam room, so... Um... Nope, um, we can't use that thing there as a ledge. Um, mm, come on. Come on. Yep, fish. Oh, um, it opened, but we can't get through it, so... Hmm, there's a little area up ahead where I got the boost ball. Ah, whatever, I'm not really um, feeling it, so... Mm, there's got to be a good way to get up there, so I don't want to edit anything else out. So. Uh, new creature, um, Ice Shriek Bats, and obviously we know all about damn Shriek Bats, so die. Just want to destroy that. Hmm. This guy, there's gotta be some way up, so, um, hmm, oh, no, no, this just shows the lore I discovered earlier, so, oh, um, alright, yeah, I just saw it all earlier, so, yeah, hmm, come on, like, seriously, there has to be w at least one way to get up there, I don't care how, um, demanding it is, I just wanna get up there. <sighs> Tell me, Chozo Gods, what must I do to get up to the wave beam room that's above us? Hmm. Eh, whatever, I'm kind of through with this for today, so let's just head back to a good save room and we'll call it. Alright, so let's light all these bombus up with charge beam. Huh. Is this something? Uh, no, it's not something. Mm. Yep. Alright, um, I think there's something over there, so let's just check this little joint out before we, um, call it for today. And, yeah, again, we can go into water now, and for some reason all these sea goths have shown up out of nowhere. Oh, boy. Space Jump gives us another... I, like I said, Space Jump now gives us an advantage over these things, because we can... Yeah, that dude over there is triggered that we killed him. Like, wait, well, he, we killed his friend. Um, they wouldn't be triggered if they were dead, because they couldn't kill us. Oh, okay, no, charge, um... Not even a charged up wave beam can hurt these little dudes here, so, yeah. Oh, boy, ow! Wow, he's a sniper. 
Yeah. But we made it. Um, I'm pretty sure we just went through this joint here, but um, um, let's see. Anything? Hmm. Uh, nope. Nope, I don't think there's anything in here, so let's just go back outside and see if there's any way to, um, get a missile refill that's up there. Yeah. Um, seriously, what do we do? Uh, whatever, I'm kind of through with this, so, yeah, this was a bit, it was a little confusing to get the wickedly wave, the wickedly wild wavy wave beam today, but... We got it in the end, so, yeah, this was definitely confusing, and, um, I'm gonna look up directions on where to go next, so stay tuned for the next Metroid Prime video. So, for now, that's about all the time we got today. Oh, no, wait, I gotta make one more announcement, so, yeah, coming this Tuesday are Turbo Tuesdays, so on every Tuesday for 50 Tuesdays, so that's close to a year, I'll be playing Turbo Dismount every Tuesday, so, yeah, tune into that when it comes out. So, I'll be uploading Super Mario 3D World shortly, so for now, that's about all the time we got today, so thank you all for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe, leave comments down below because I like them, and crank that like button to the max like soldier boy. Till then, I'm Hatfield15. Space out, bros and brositas.